Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can stop lag in Minecraft 1.13.1. I go through everything in depth, but the first things first guys, you are going to need to install Optifine to uh, get this to work. Optifine is the best way to get good performance in Minecraft, so guess what? I have a complete tutorial on how to download and install it. It's linked to the eye at the top of your screen as well as in the description down below. It'll take you here to our in-depth Optifine tutorial. It's all here in text format, but it's also up at the top in video format, and it'll show you how to get Optifine up and running in Minecraft 1.13.1. So awesome stuff there. Go check out that video if uh, you don't have Optifine already. But once you've got Optifine, you need to do this, which is actually add more RAM to Minecraft 1.13. Now, I show you exactly how to do this. I show you how to get Java, how to make sure you have the correct Java to be able to add more RAM to Minecraft. I go over it all in this in-depth video here. It is also at the at the top of your screen and in the description down below. Now, before we get on into actually getting Optifine installed and giving you guys the best settings for Optifine, be sure to check out our sponsor, which is Game Servers. If you want an awesome 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server for just one dollar per month go check out game servers at the first link down below the breakdown xyz slash mc server we personally love game servers and use them ourselves so again go check them out at the first link down below the breakdown xyz slash mc server but once you've got optifine installed and have added more ram to minecraft we need to get optifine set up in order to stop any and all of those pesky lag issues that you have in minecraft first though we need to create a baseline we need to see what our fps is starting off here. So I'm going to go ahead, click on multiplayer here, and I'm just going to go to this, play.breakdowncraft.com. You could come join the server as well. This is our multiplayer survival server. We absolutely put tons of time into this thing. I am constantly online. If I'm not making videos, I am on this server, and I'm a lot of times on this server making videos. It is absolutely awesome, and I love playing on it nearly uh, every day. I mean, I do play on it every day. We've got tons of updates coming, MCMMO, and awesome stuff like that. There's pretty much always people online, so come play. Play.breakdowncraft.com, but let's look at our FPS. So, I'm specifically going to be looking at this high number right up here so if we look in the top left of our screen right up there in the top left you can see the FPS now it's fluctuating from on that first number from like 184 160 somewhere in there but that low number is hitting 15 14 60 you see that 7 so basically the low number is the lower our FPS is getting and the high number is basically the higher average of our FPS so as you can see that low number is sometimes peaking 20, 30, 7, stuff like that. I mean, that's horrible. That's almost unplayable, whereas the high number is getting in there, you know, the 140s to 150 range. So let's see how high we can get those numbers once we get Optifine set up. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect from the server here, and we're going to go ahead and click Cancel from the Get Out of the Multiplayer menu, and then click on Options. Once you're in Options here, this is where everything is going to be done. Specifically, everything is going to be done in the Video Settings tab right there. You see that? When you click on that, you will have have the Optifine settings. I mean, it's all here. And I'm going to go ahead and set this up as if you have a horrible potato computer. Some of you have relatively good computers, and you can still actually do a lot of these optimizations and undo some of them, like turn up your render distance or, you know, change smooth lighting, things like that. But if you have a horrible computer, my goal is to allow you to be able to play Minecraft. So let's go ahead and do it. For graphics here, we want to go ahead and make those fast. For our render distance, we want to turn that all the way down to two. For smooth lighting, go ahead, turn that off. Max frame rate, that needs to be all the way up, actually, at unlimited. Smooth lighting level, go ahead and turn it off. View bobbing, go ahead and turn that off or on. It really doesn't have any effects on your gameplay. I personally like it off. Um, GUI scale, I would recommend actually doing this on one. GUI scale one here, or the smallest you can possibly have. The thing is, though, I don't know about you, but I can't really see that. So I'm going to go ahead and bring it back up here. Here we go. Now you guys can actually see what's going on. Use VBOs. That definitely needs to be on. Brightness, whatever you want. I like mine all the way up. Attack indicator, doesn't matter. Not going to affect performance whatsoever. Dynamic lights needs to be off. Dynamic FOV needs to be off. Shaders, you definitely want to have shaders off. Shaders is the biggest thing that hurts performance in Minecraft, so make sure those are off there. Go ahead and click done. After you've turned shaders off, and click on quality. Now in here, we want minimap levels to be all the way down at 1%. It's going to take it a second. There we go. We're actually off is where we want those to be. Minimap type. Go ahead and click that all the way down as well here. 
There we go, to where it says nearest. Anti-aliasing off, anthroscopic filtering needs to be off, clear water off, random entities off, better snow off, better grass needs to be off, custom fonts off, custom colors off, off, custom sky off, custom items off, custom entity models, guess what? Can you guess it? That needs to be off. Custom GUIs. We want to turn that off as well. And emissive textures, obviously, off. And there we have it. That is absolutely crazy. Um, tons of stuff turning off there, but we can click Done. If we want to then click on Details, we can get rocking in here. Now, some of this stuff you're going to be able to turn off, but some of this stuff you're not going to be able to, like trees. Trees, you can't turn them off, so you're going to turn them on fast. For rain and snow, you can turn it off, but I personally like rain and snow, so I'm going to leave that on fast. Sky needs to be off. Stars off. Sun and moon, turn that off. Show caves off. Fog needs to be off. Fog start needs to be 0.2. Translucent blocks need to be fast. Held item tooltips actually doesn't affect performance. You can do whatever you want there. Dropped items needs to be fast. Entity shadows needs to be off. Vignette needs to be fast. Alternative blocks needs to be off. Swamp colors needs to be off and smooth biomes needs to be off. Then you can click done. Now we need to jump into performance here and I'm actually going to leave smooth FPS off here because I want to show you guys how high I can actually get the FPS of Minecraft. Now if you are having FPS spikes and just random lag spikes, I would actually come and turn smooth FPS on. Same goes for smooth world here. I would recommend turning that on in order to make sure your FPS is as smooth as possible. But I want to show you guys how high I can actually get my FPS. And if you guys want to see how high you can get your FPS, be sure to post it in the comments section down below but if you're going to do that turn smooth world and smooth fps off for now post it in the comments once you've got it in game and then come back and turn these on in order to make things work correctly and smooth minecraft out for you fast render needs to be on if you have a standalone gpu like i do like an nvidia graphics card or an amd graphics card you want to turn that on if you don't and you're playing on intel graphics then guess what you want to go ahead and turn that off but I have a draft graphics card, so I'm going to turn it on. Fast math, you need to turn that on. Chunk updates needs to be one. Dynamic updates needs to be on. Which This one's actually really cool. So dynamic updates basically means when you're standing still, it's loading everything around you. Whereas when you're moving, it's not loading anything. Really awesome thing for uh, for Optifine to add there. One of the coolest features, in my opinion. Render regions, go ahead and turn that on. Lazy chunk loading, go ahead and turn that on as well. Smart animations, go ahead and turn that on. However, I'm going to turn lazy chunk loading off because that can smooth FPS on servers, which you most likely want to do, but I'm testing this on a server, so I'm going to be leaving that off. Now we can go ahead and click done there, and we need to click on animations. This is the easiest one yet. Go ahead and click all off, right like so, and click on done. Then go ahead and click on other here. Now in here, most of this can just be messed around with whatever you want. For example, you can either show your FPS or you can't. The only things in here that are going to affect performance is weather, time, full screen, and autosave. Basically this stuff in the middle here. Weather, most likely you want to turn that off, but I personally like weather weather in Optifine, and uh, I'm going to leave it on. However, turning weather off is going to make your game faster. Time, leaving it only daytime is going to work the best for you, right? That's going to reduce less lag, but nighttime takes a lot of the fun out of Minecraft. So let's go ahead and turn that on to default. Full screen, I would recommend not playing Minecraft in full screen because it's going to be taking up more pixels, right? If you do play Minecraft in full screen, I would recommend coming down here to full screen res resolution and setting that at, where is it? Where is it? Right here, 1280 by 720. That's going to be 720p. It's going to be playable, but it's not going to take up as many pixels on your screen and uh, keep things smoother there. But I don't want full screen. So I'm just going to turn that all the way down. For autosave, now this is actually going to affect performance. When Minecraft saves, occasionally you'll see lag spikes. And if that happens to you, what you need to do is come in here and change this. Now the thing is, you could turn it up to 30 minutes if you want to. But I don't know about you, losing 30 minutes of work in Minecraft is a ton of work for me. I would be livid if I lost that much work. So I'm okay with losing 3 minutes of work. So that's where I keep it, and that's where I would be the best for you. If you have autosave lag spikes, basically every 3 minutes or so, it lags like crazy, then guess what? You have autosave lag, and you might want to go ahead and turn it to 30 minutes. But again, you could lose a lot of stuff if you do that. I would recommend leaving it at 3. Screenshots, screenshot size, does it matter? What? I didn't even say that. Show GL errors, leave that on. Just that way you know if there's any issues or anything, you can do that. Now we can click done, and guess what? It's all set up except for one thing. We need to go into our resource packs here and turn off any resource packs we have. Now, there are some resource packs that you can install that actually help FPS, but I would argue you're not going to need them after you've done all of this. Default 
Minecraft should be able to handle it without any problems. Nevertheless, if you do still have some lag, you can find a resource optimization texture pack, install that, and with these settings, it should help a lot. Just make sure that texture pack is 16 by 16 or 8 by 8. Anything else higher than that is just going to hurt your performance. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and click on done yet again here and launch into our server, playedoffbreakdowncraft.com. Great, protected, 1.13.1 survival, guys. Come join us. But once we're in game here, we can look up in the top left and see that, in fact, that top FPS is now in the 400 to 500 range, and that bottom FPS is in the 133 to 169 range, which guess what? That's where it was before on the high end, right? So now our low end is our high end, and our high end is absolutely insane. As you can see, we're peaking at 600 some FPS. Some people say, I don't, you don't move around when you get in game. Well, here I'll move around a little bit, and you'll see, still see that our FPS is holding over 100 without any problems. So there's that, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome Minecraft content, and come join us on play.breakdowncraft.com if you're looking for an incredible multiplayer survival server. We're going to be expanding the network in the future, but right now we've just got multi player survival for 1.13.1. Anyway guys, my name is Nick, this has been The Breakdown, and I am out guys. Peace.